it was going to take something stupid. Like, I, I can't even remember the exact number, but it was like 8 to 12 years to pay off a balance of $8,000. That's not getting ahead. Like, that's not paying off debt. It is, but it's going to take a lot longer. You want to do this in a, as fast as possible. So what you need to do is attack the lowest balance first, okay? Forget about the high balance. Attack the lowest balance first, and um, start saving money, you know? Mad amounts of money. So, and guess what? When you're not paying your credit card balances, if you're already laid on, um, you, you've got money. Now, I'm not saying, if, you, if you've been paying on time right now, I'm not saying to just completely stop paying your credit cards, Okay, you might want to keep doing that if you have the money to work with. But most people don't. So with the, I mean, all their money's tied up in credit cards. So what they'll do is they'll take. Uh, um, here, let me just show you real quick what I'm talking about. So, in other words. You've got let's say you have three credit cards, right? Balance one. Let's say it's eight thousand dollars. Um, second balance is three thousand, and the third balance is let's say one thousand dollars, right? Okay. So let's say your minimum payment on the eight thousand would be a hundred bucks. Okay. Now let's say on the three thousand, your minimum payment is, I don't know, forty dollars. And then on the third balance, on a one thousand dollar balance, your minimum payment is like ten bucks. Well, let's go with fifteen. <clears throat> Actually, it's twenty-five. Let's go with twenty-five. Now you add that up. That's 165 bucks. Okay? Now, you may only have $165 left over after you pay your car, mortgage, or rent, you know, groceries, all that stuff. You may only have $165 to play with to pay off uh, all three balances. And that's what you've been accounting for was $165 for your minimum payments, which you've got right here. Well, um... Uh, you know, you're never going to pay this off. It's going to take you forever. And so what well, What I did, and my attorney just told me, stop paying the payments. He said, uh, start saving your money because now, now you're going to have money. So, you know, we stopped paying on all three of these balances and it freed up 165 bucks. <clears throat> So now we got $165 to play with every month. Well, on top of that, I went out and got another job. You know, sometimes you, you got to do what you got to do. Um, me, I had to get extra income coming in, so I went and got another part-time job. Um, one thing you can do, though, is cut back on things, throw things out, stop going out to the bars. Stop, uh, you know, if you're spending 150 bucks on groceries, only spend 75 you know, stuff like that. You can actually, for like utilities, you can get on a payment plan there and cut your utilities payments down so that you're paying less and you can free up more cash that way. But anyways, what I'm getting at here is you want to, you know, now that you don't have um, money going out on these credit card balances, you can attack this uh, first one uh, first. So you had 165 bucks between the three of them. Now you got 165 that you're paying on this one. 
and this one only. 165 bucks. Plus some. You know, and they'll say you free up like another, I don't know, 75 on groceries and another 20 on electricity, your electric bill. <clears throat> you know, hold on here. Let me add this up. I'm bad with math, so forgive me. Let's go ahead and add this up real quick. Yeah, 165, 75 to 20, 260. Now you got 260 bucks here that you can throw down on a $1,000 balance. Okay? It's $260. You divide that by $1,000. Guess what? It's going to take you... This would be paid off... in 3.8 months. That one right there would. Not bad, huh? As opposed to just paying your minimum payment, where, what's, what was it, $25? So you take $1,000 divided by 25 minimum payment, plus interest, you would have been looking at uh, about 40 months. 40 months versus 3.8. Which one would you rather do? I'd rather do this. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I, and, I, and here's the cool thing. Once this is paid off, now... You take this 260, okay, and you just attack the next one, and you keep doing it, and you keep doing it. Um, now, here's the thing, though. It took 3.8 months to pay this, this balance on a third credit card. While that's, that's happening, you're not paying on these other two, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, the credit agencies are probably going to keep calling you. And wanting you to pay, you know, pay payments on time and stuff like that. That's fine. Now that they don't have your bank account, you got peace of mind. They can't, they can't take money from you. The only thing that they can do at this point, basically, is just tell you, hey, your credit's going to get bad. Which, it will. You, and, well, here's the beautiful thing about that, though. Because you're probably thinking, why am I going to destroy my credit um, worthiness to pay off debt? Well... When I got out of debt, my before I got out of debt, even before I went into debt, my credit score was like a 750. Okay, at one point it was close to 800, and I racked up all this debt, twenty-two thousand dollars worth, like pretty much overnight. Um, I got a new car, got two or three credit cards, and a, a big TV and all this nice stuff, and overnight my credit score went down to like. 590. By the time I got my attorney, and by the time I had missed all these late payments and stuff, or, you know, they started screwing me over by taking money out of my bank account, um, it was down to like a 575. All right? But here's the beautiful thing about your credit score. You can rebuild it. You can always rebuild it. All right? So, if you're experiencing um, a lot of stress due to credit creditors coming after you right now, Let's say your credit score has gone down. Don't worry about that. Don't get discouraged because you can rebuild it. And it doesn't actually, matter of fact, it doesn't take that long to rebuild it either. That's the beautiful thing about this. Um, so, 3.8 months to pay off 1000 You take this 260 Here's where that snowball effect comes in, um, into play. You take that and you attack this next balance. All right, so for three months you've been fighting these guys off over here, whoever that might be. Saying, look, you know, I'll pay you when I can pay you. Deal with it. And they're making money from other people. You know, you so your credit score it takes, a, takes a hit, you know, in three, three and a half, three point eight months. So you go back up here and you can call these guys up or let your attorney do it for you, which is what I did. Um, and you attack the next balance. 
And once this one's paid off, then you take the money and you go up here with it to 8,000. All right, but you, you get the picture. You know, what, what would take, what would we say, 40 months just to pay this off on a minimum payment of $1,000? 3000 is going to be, you know, something absurd as well. You know, again, you can see the picture here, though. It's going to, what would take three or four years or maybe five or six years to pay off is going to take um, half half the time if you're doing it this way. And then once, once you get everything paid off, the cool thing is you can go back and start rebuilding your credit which is what I did. I, I actually, uh, just recently, in the last six, seven months, um, after I paid off my uh, all my debt, I then had cash flow. I had a lot of money coming in because uh, I was working my day job, and I didn't have very hardly any bills at all. So I had, like, cash flow freed up after I got out of debt. I had, like, 1500 a month, just straight liquid cash that I could do whatever I wanted with. And um, so I went back and checked my credit score. My credit score was like at a 590, so it went up like 15 points from, you know, 575 from where it was. And it's not bad, you know, but it was still really low. And so I knew I had to do something about that. So what I did is I went and got a, uh, I applied for another credit card. Well, because my credit score was so low, um, I got kind of a crappy credit card. It was like three hundred dollar balance, and it had a um, annual APR interest on it already of like twenty five percent. But I knew I had to reestablish some credit, so that's what I did. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me here. When I did that. Um, I started using my credit card for like gas, you know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, and then I would pay it off. And I did that for about six or seven months. And just recently, I went back and checked my credit score. My credit score now went from a five, like 590, just eight, nine months ago. And right now it's at like a 675. So it's jumped quite a bit. And I just continue doing that. Like I'll, I'll use it for gas or like, you know, a couple of miscellaneous things here and there, but I don't let it go over like, say, 90 bucks. <clears throat> and then I just pay it off, use it the next month, pay it off, and you just keep doing that, and your credit score will go back up pretty quick. So, that's really it in a nutshell. Um, you know, getting out of debt. Again, on my, in my first video for, uh, you know, trying to achieve uh, financial independence. Um, this is the first thing you want to do is get out of debt. I mean, because if you, if all your money's tied up in bills, you don't have any extra money. If you don't have any extra money, you can't make any money or you can't get your money working for you. So it's very important that you do this here first. And remember, CDK every day, you know, at communication, discipline, and knowledge, just remember um, every day to apply this stuff, and you can apply it to getting out of debt. I mean, seriously, you got to communicate with your uh, creditors. You got to communicate with an attorney if you have to. Um, get a plan together. Discipline. You know, stay, change your habits. We talked about that already. Uh, and then, you know, knowledge. Know, you know, the Credit Collection Act um, laws and what your creditors can and cannot do. You know, so um, I'll go ahead and put another video out here soon. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of doing this, you know, out of the seat of my pants right now. So I'm going to have to go back and get a plan together uh, for the next few videos that I put out. But I'm, I'm definitely going to cover some more stuff in regards to some of the tools um, that you can utilize for... Um, once you've gotten out of debt and some things that you can look at as far as investments to get some of your money working for you. Uh, that way you don't have to work for your money. So anyways, until then, uh, you guys take care and we'll talk to you soon.